Hi, I'm Andy, the audiobook narrator, and in this video, I'm about to show you how to get ACX Check, how to download it, install it, and then stick with me to the end of the video when I'll show you how to use it. So you've narrated an audiobook using Audacity, the free voice recording and editing program, and you're now ready to upload it to Audiobook Creation Exchange, ACX for short, so that it goes on sale on Audible. But how do you know that your recording will satisfy ACX's pesky quality submission requirements? Well, thankfully, I have never failed them, and I'm about to tell you how to pass them, and it is so easy-peasy. Yes, a quick and easy way to confirm that your recording is going to pass with flying colours is to download and install ACX Check, an extra piece of software called a plugin that you add to Audacity. The great thing about ACX Check is that it is so easy to use, and it gives you an immediate result, which tells you whether your recording meets those complicated sounding ACX submission requirements or not. OK, now often the hardest part of installing ACX Check is finding where it is on the internet. Well, here's the answer. Go to www.audacityteam.org forward slash download. I've also included this link in the video description below. And then click on your operating system. Mine is Windows. And then scroll down to additional resources where you will find plugins. There we go. And click on that. Now you can see here that ACX Check is listed under Popular Plugins. If I just scroll down, there it is. But if by the time you watch this video it is no longer listed there for whatever reason, uh, things change over time, don't they? Then just enter ACX Check in the search field, or look under Analyzers and Analysis Plugins uh, in the uh, menu on the left there and you should find it. OK, so I'll click on ACX Check uh, where it's listed under Popular Plugins. And uh, there it is. Um, I just had to scroll up there just to spot it, but uh, there it is, ACX Check. And uh, it says a little bit about it. This analyzer was developed as an aid for audiobook producers. It displays a number of useful statistics about the selected audio and compares them to the specifications published by ACX. That sounds about right. I think we want some of that. So, to download it, simply click the link and it will download it onto your PC into the Downloads folder. OK, so now you've downloaded it, you have to install it into Audacity. So to do that, open Audacity and click on Tools at the top there and Nyquist Plugin Installer. Then click Browse to locate the Downloads folder on your computer to find the ACX Check file. There's Downloads. And there's ACX Check. I've downloaded it more than once because it's got a, a little two in brackets next to it. Um, but there it is. So if I highlight that and open it, you can see that the dialog box has now grabbed ACX Check. There it is. So now all I need to do is click Apply. And ACX Check will be installed into Audacity. But there's one more thing that you need to do, um, and that is to click on Tools again in Audacity, then Plugin Manager at the top there, and you need to make sure that ACX Check is listed in the plugins that are installed in your version of Audacity, 
and that it is enabled. There it is, and it is enabled. Um, if it shows disabled, you just need to uh, highlight it and click the enable button to change it from disabled to enabled. But make sure that it is enabled and then click OK. And ACX check is there. So now we know it's installed. This is how to use it. It's so easy. Open the file you want to check. Now this one, this recording here, is uh, a chapter from one of my audiobooks. It happens to be chapter one of Grey Justice, the first in the Tom Grey action thriller series written by the great million plus best-selling author Alan McDermott. Click select and all to highlight the whole uh, recording and then click analyze and ACX check which if you've enabled it as I said earlier will show up under your analyze menu and immediately ACX check runs and as you can see you have an immediate result and thankfully this one's passed. It's passed the peak level check, it's passed the RMS level check, and it's passed the noise floor check, uh, which are the three conditions that need to be satisfied in order to pass the uh, ACX submission requirements. So that's ACX check for you. This is passed, so what's not to like? Now, just to say, you'll need to use ACX Check on every individual file recording for your audiobook, and I suggest that you do that immediately after you have edited and mastered each file. Now, if you check out my earlier video, which is step five of the series How to Narrate and Produce an Audiobook in Six Steps, so it's step five, there's a link to it in the video description below, by the way. Now, that video includes the simple mastering process that you need to apply to your recording before you run the ACX check on it to ensure it will pass the ACX check analysis. So look out for that video, step five in the six steps to successful audiobook narration series. And um, if you um, scroll uh, around uh, six minutes in, you'll see the section that covers the mastering process that will ensure that your uh, recording passes the ACX check check. So that's how to find and download ACX check, how to install it and how to use it. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos on the wonderful world of audiobooks for would-be narrators, for authors and for listeners. Remember to click the bell symbol so that you are notified whenever I release a new video, which will usually be every week, unless I'm on holiday or doing a DIY project or feeling lazy. Anyway, Thanks for watching and see me again soon. Bye for now.